with your eyes, unlock your phone and specific apps, files and photos. Second security layer allows you to share lock screen code with kids. Doesn't replace the more reliable home button fingerprint sensor. The iris scanner won't, or shouldn't, sell you on the Note 7. It's not the breakthrough eye scanning technology that replaces the fingerprint sensor home button like you may be thinking at first pass, and to be fair, Samsung isn't marketing it as such. Instead, it's a supplemental way to unlock your phone or password protect folders, apps and photos behind a second layer of security. This is a great idea for parents who are forced, read, guilted and or tortured, into giving their kids their password for playing game apps, read again, Pokemon Go. They won't have full access to your secure folder. Here are the rare, but actual uses of the iris scanner. You often exit a swimming pool or shower with incredible pruny hands and desperately need to check your phone. Your fingers are grasping the middle of this really big phone, unable to make it down to the home button. You want a second biometrically controlled way of accessing certain files and folders, far from your phone prying, Pokemon Go playing kids. Your friends want you to unlock the phone from the bar stool next to you. You want a new party trip because no one fancies your smartwatch. The iris scanner worked well enough for us and even worked in the dark. It's not faster than putting your finger on the home button, but it's close enough and it can be a neat party trick. Only, be warned, the scanner shows an unflattering, low-resolution sliver of your face in black and white when it tries to read your eyes. It can be, and was, a party trick gone wrong when we tried it the first time at a party. Phone number not oak wired. The phone managed still to unlock our sad face, so that's good news.